decorate a little cake with me while we talk about how single life is going? Here's what's up. I really wanted to make a cake today. Not entirely sure why. I was gonna do a bake with me, but then I remembered that the la the second to last bake with me I did was also just making this cake. <laughs> so I was like, I should do something like a little different. So let me make this cake and then, but only decorate it. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, this did not set up. That's okay. So here's what's up. If the question is, am I still single? I have some news. Uh, I am. The news is that, uh, you know, nothing has changed, but I'm doing fine. I have been very happy, albeit sometimes, is this fucking hot still? No. Albeit sometimes a little lonely, but that's fine. I would rather be lonely and stress-free than in a relationship and riddled with anxiety, which if you guys can believe it, I get a little nervous sometimes. Oh, I guess maybe I'm not, okay, maybe I'm not doing the flowers. I had a whole cute little deco idea that I wanted to do, but maybe I'm not doing that anymore. Okay. I just don't have enough icing, and I'm not gonna not properly ice my cake if that means I have a couple flowers on there, you know? Well, then I have to change my sprinkle selection. I, you know, see, this is what I'm like in a relationship. I can't even, if I can't figure out what sprinkles I wanna use, you think I'm just easy going? I'm pretty high maintenance. I was uh, talking to some of my girlfriends the other day and we were like, God, we used to pride ourselves on being like, I'm so low maintenance. Like I low key, not low key, pretty high key. I used to be a pick me girl. Like I was like, um, I actually just like love guys. Like I only get along with guys. And I mean, it's not incorrect. I do love guys. I do get along with guys really well, but I also was not very liked. Like, like boys didn't like me. Is this hot still? So I kind of tried to be like, yeah, like whatever, I'm just one of the guys. And if you happen to fall in love with me, what am I gonna do about it, you know? Quick spoiler, no one did. Um, I know you're shocked to hear that. Hold on, okay, now see, I need different sprinkles. Sprinkies. I did have a bunch of girlfriends. Like I grew up with the same group of girlfriends, but I would be the one who was like, listen, I just like love pizza and beer, which is funny because I do. I like am very much a pizza and beer kind of gal, but I used to really capitalize on it. I was like, that's the only thing about me is I eat like a boy. Gets an eating disorder, LOL. Why was I talking about this? Oh, being single. I'm still single. <laughs> I'm not a pick me anymore. I'm really not, I really try not to be. Okay, here's the trouble with doing the cute little sprinkle edge, is the middle part doesn't have sprinkles. So I'm single. I have dated a little bit here and there. Nobody special. I mean, I'm sure they're special to somebody, just not to me. <laughs> I was on dating apps for like two seconds, but I don't, vibe with dating apps. I'm doing sprinkles on the whole thing. Sorry, everybody. Even though I have literally like five friends who got married because they met on dating apps. I'm, why am I only using this hand? I'm still like, no, they're not for me. Everybody's allowed to have their own preference. I guess this is gonna be more of a mukbang because now it's done being decorated. So, <laughs> do you guys like sprinkles? I do. So yeah, so I've gone on a few dates. They haven't been anything to write home about. I mean, I tell my mom every date I go on. Fun, like I love meeting new people and I love being asked out and getting dressed up. Like it's all very cute. I'm really, I'm just, I'm happier being single right now. I'll tell you what, but, but that's not to say if some super hot, you know, Jewish doctor came around that I would be like, get away from me. Is this too big of a piece of cake for me? Probably. Also look at my cookie sheet. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your freaking life? Let's just eat some cake. Is, does anyone else just put their phone right there? So yeah, it's it's been nice. It's been nice not having to worry about, are they gonna text me back? I make such good cake. Oh, he was being kind of weird today. Now my whole day is thrown off. You know, the dream is that that's not the case, is that you're like, they live their life, I live mine. But you can't look me in the eyes and say, oh yeah, like when we're in a fight, everything's normal and I feel okay the, the whole day. I don't believe it. Is that the biggest bite of cake in the world? It's nice because it's the reassurance that you can. Because when you go through a breakup, so much of your brain is like, I can't, I can't be on my own again. I don't remember how. 
I don't know what to do. And if you've done single right, you have those memories of being like, I, I'm good on my own. I love being with somebody, but, but I can be on my own and be happy. And that's very important. I wonder if I'll put this video up. I had a whole plan. Who knows? You know what can happen to me? You guys remember in this video when my chicken dropped? I had another moment like that today. I wasn't recording, which made it even worse. You guys know my KitchenAid is broken. And when I was making the frosting, just like muscle memory, turned the thing off and I tilted the KitchenAid head up and I let go of the actual machine so I could maneuver the bowl. And the whisk attachment like flung a whole thing of frosting all over the place, which was so annoying, but whatever. So yeah, so single life has been good. It's been mostly really great. And I honestly don't think I would trade it right now. It does get lonely and it does get like a little, a little tricky sometimes. And like, you know, if your friends aren't around or nobody wants to FaceTime and you're just like sitting there watching a movie, or if you're a better person than I am, like reading a book, it can be a little lonely. But to me, being a little lonely for a little while is just a lot better than being in something you're not happy with or something that somebody else isn't happy with. Like if somebody tells you they're not happy in the relationship and you've done what you can, you don't wanna force that. That's not fun for anybody because then you're gonna end up feeling like, like you owe them something because they like did you a favor by being with you, which, well, uh, 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 spoiler, they didn't, you're great. I was thinking about something today that I wanna share with you guys. I don't know if this video is going up. I Maybe it will, but if it does, uh, I wanna leave you guys with something. No matter what kind of situation you're in, if it's bad and you're like, oh my God, I can't wait to get out and, da -da -da, and then you eventually break up. I just wanna let you know, there's gonna be a point where you think back and you're like laughing so hard. You're like, I let that, I let that person say that to me and I didn't laugh in their face. I know that some things people say are hurt so much and you're like, I can't believe you're saying this. Why would you try to hurt me with this? And blah, blah. But there's gonna be a time where you look back and like, I was thinking about this today. This guy I used to date said some really terrible stuff to me. And I, I wish that future me was there instead of that me. So she could have just been like, what? <laughs> I just, I just wanna let you know it gets better. And if, if being single for a bit is the thing that makes that happen, do that. If this video comes out, leave in the comments the best date you've ever been on. Or if you haven't been on a date yet, what your dream date looks like. Wow, thank you guys for being here with me for this weird video that I don't know what to do with. Um, all right, love you, bye. <laughs>